Hi everyone! I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I've been stuck in Crinoline land, uh, and <laughs> Crinoline's taken me a while, so... But today, I actually have something to show you! <laughs> Alright, so, I want to just preface this video with two things. Uh, number one, I apologize if you can hear, but there is a small human uh, singing the song of his people right now upstairs because he has to do chores and chores suck. Number two, uh, don't judge, but this has to do with, um, there was a sale. It was a good sale on fabric with, with a certain minimum buy that had to hit, be hit for free shipping. And, and I don't know if you know, but shipping from Montreal to BC isn't really cheap. So, without further ado, oh, my fabric. Do you know how hard it is? Oh, to lift that. To not open this bag of fabric for the past week so that I could do a video showing the opening of the fabric. I'm looking at it and there's there's a paper bag. Alright, so same. I have a, a paper bag. It's got the store on it and it feels like it's got fabric in it. Oh. <laughs> I know what this is. Alright, so I know I prefaced this with a couple things, but in a couple months, once I get, you know, my vaccines and stuff like that, I'll be going back to work. Yeah. Anyway, um, a lot of my work clothes, my aesthetics changed over the past year, my body shape has changed over the past year, I've done a lot of working out, done a lot of baking, um, and my stuff just, it's not, it's not sparking joy anymore. So I bought a lot of things that could be turned into work attire, especially like dress pants, that's a big thing. I'm, I'm coming around to like a vintage 40s, 50s, cottagecore kind of aesthetic, and I, I want to make high-waisted, wide-leg pants with cuffs on the bottom because, oh, you have no idea how much I'm just, I'm just desiring those in my life, and, yeah. Okay, so, let's see what, let's see what I bought. Oh, very nice, nice, orange. And also earthy colors, earthy colors, oranges, browns, and yellows. Oh, yeah, 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 I think I'm really big on those. This is beautiful, beautiful. It's all, it's all polyester. Like I said, it was cheap fabric. Um, but I got a couple meters of this. It's a nice, um, sort of a twill weave, but it's lighter. It'll be great for pants. Oh, yes. Okay, so that'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Call me crazy. Gingham! I never thought I'd be so excited to have gingham in my entire life. But I got yellow and I got um, red. Duh, obvious, you can see them. Oh, they're right there. And um, these are shirt weight. So I want to do some, some nice, like, sweater sleeve blouses for the summer. Go with, you know, jeans, jeans, skirts, stuff like that. Um, just, yeah, really. Really, really pretty, really basic, good vintagey. What's next? What's next? Okay, we've got some black polyester. Now this is thinner than I think I wanted to use. It is a thin weight, so I'll have to figure out what I want to do with those. I might do some like A-line skirts and stuff like that because it does have a nice drape and a nice flow to it. 
Um, so yeah, we'll figure that out. Not not necessarily pant material, but I mean black polyester, really, it's a staple. What else do they have? Oh, I think I found the orangey brown companion to the black. Uh, this one feels like it's a little bit heavier. This one might turn into some pants, some nice pants. I just worry about things that are, are too thin, and I don't want lines to be seen. We all we all know. <laughs> um, yeah, there there needs to be, but like you know, something drapey. Something like not doing skin tight. It's got a little bit of stretch to it. But something drapey would probably be nice in that color. Yeah, sort of an orangey brown, kind of coppery. Ah, that's more like it. Oh, I got a thank you card from Rowena. You're welcome, Rowena. It was my pleasure. Okay, uh, this one is really, really deep, like an espresso brown, more of that kind of twill weight. Sorry, twill weave, not weight. It's really not a heavy, but that one. Oh, that's going to be some good pants. Good pants. Maybe, maybe it's a little vest to go with it. I don't know. I don't know. My aesthetic is very, is, de is, it's developing, it's changing, it's growing, it's morphing. I don't quite know where it's leading to, but there's just, there's stuff I want to make and stuff I want to try. And yeah. Anyway, there's more. <laughs> All right. This is a really nice, look at this. Very graphic. Um, really thick knit, polyester knit. This could be dresses, this could be stretchy tops. I mean, it's not summery. It's definitely going to be a winter weight kind of thing. Um, but yeah, beautiful. I love the colors, and again, it coordinates really nicely with the other colors that I've got there. Minus the gingham. Gingham is just kind of on its own. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's beautiful graphic. You could do, I could do cut it on the bias and do nice chevroning. There's the limit. There's more. Oh yes, there's more. Well, oh, just one more. Okay, and this is more. Yeah, it's more black polyester. I got it in two different weights, but it appears that they're both really on the thin side. But again, you know, some nice basic dresses and things like that for for winter or lighter sort of shoulder season probably what that's going to be best for maybe some blouses um yeah so it looks like i've got a lot of black polyester that isn't quite what i thought it was going to be but it'll come to me that's that's the majority of it that's and there's like three yards three meters to most of these so that's it's a heck of a lot of yardage right but, one of the whole reasons why I did this sale is that I fell in love with the fabric that's in the little baggie. It was not on sale. It wasn't hella expensive, but if anybody knows, like quilting cotton, quilting cotton that isn't on sale, you're looking at like $25 a meter or so, and it's... Uh, but I fell in love with it. And it's the fabric I'm going to use for my new corset. I finally found something. It's not silk. It is closing cotton, but um, honestly, it hit, it hit all the aesthetic buttons that I wanted it to, and uh, it's now mine. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Okay, and hilariously, they put it in here. I, do, I don't know why it was precious and needed to be kept segregated from the other polyester. Uh, You see the space? The name is the same, but it isn't the fabric I saw. 
At least I don't think it's the fabric I saw. It's not the fabric I saw. The fabric I saw had stripes. Very pretty stripes. This is... Well, that's poopy. Not that I don't like it. That's actually quite pretty. And, and I'll still make a very nice... Um, I'll still make a nice corset out of it because it has, it's along the aesthetic that I was looking for, for Violet, you know, Violet Gardens is the theme of this fabric. But, well, well, well. Oh, my fabric's falling. So, there you have it, some ups, some downs. This is what we get when we shop online, right? Um, some of the fabric was like, buy one meter, get, too free so like I said the, the sale was really really good and I've got more stuff that I'm loving than stuff that I'm kind of on the fence about um but yeah oh <clears throat> that quilting cotton I had I had that dream in my head I knew what it was gonna look like and now I've gotta fix it <laughs> oh well <laughs> thank you for coming to another English creation I'm Bagging, boxing, seeing what I spend my money on. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to, for my project right now, I've got to finish that crinoline. Oh my goodness, do I ever have to finish this crinoline? It is so, so close. So close. Um, I have washed all of the linen that I got, the seven yards of linen that I got, um, to make the chemise, the chemise set, to go underneath. I'm almost finished. Um, I fixed up the corset that I made, the original corset. I was like, you know what? It's the one that goes with the costume. I'm just going to, all I needed to do was do edge binding. I'm almost finished with the edge binding and, and then it's done. So the new corset, I've got a busk on the way and I've got more boning, i.e. zip ties, ready to go, cable ties. And so I'll get those done. Now I might take a break from costuming and then start working on a pile of work clothes that I want to do and get some pants going. Ooh. I know I can do with some of that black polyester. Mock-ups! I've never been so happy to do mock-ups in my life. But I don't want to wreck the stuff that I really do like. So it makes sense. All right. Yes. Bing. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, I will hopefully have more content to show you in the coming weeks. Uh, but as the weather gets nicer, I'm outdoors. <laughs> so we'll see what we get uh, coming up in the next few months. All right. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Stay sane. And uh, love y'all. Bye.